<laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Plants and Lucia. My name is Lucia and this right here is Lorena. Today we're going to learn how to take care of this beautiful calathea. Okay, coming up. Whether you're coming back or this is your first time in my channel, thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time, this channel is all about houseplants. So if you want to learn how to take care of them, how to display them, or even how to connect with them, please make sure to subscribe so we can see each other and talk about plants every week. But now, let's get to the video. The Calathea is actually a rainforest plant, so she will like a warm room. Keep it in a room that is between 16 to 20 degrees Celsius. Calatheas love humidity, my friends. So a bathroom would be ideal if you provide the right amount of sunlight for her, but you can also have her outside of the bathroom and you can increase humidity in different ways. One way is to put her with other plants that are tropical plants. They actually increase the humidity when they're together. So they become friends and they help each other. The second way that you can use to increase her humidity is actually misting her leaves once a day or every two days. And of course, the third way to increase humidity is using a humidity tray. So you can actually put the humidity tray underneath the pot and the water will evaporate and it will raise humidity levels. When we talk about lighting, these plants actually are very happy in partially shaded rooms and please make sure that she doesn't have any direct light because that's going to burn her leaves. So if you have a room that is a little bit on the darker side, this plant will be happy there. When we talk about water, it's good to keep the soil moist but not wet from spring to fall. The way that I check is I use my finger and I put it inside the soil until the first knuckle just to make sure that the soil is not completely dry. Then I water. Just make sure to not overwater your plants. So the soil again should be moist but not wet. Water more sparingly in winter. So in winter what I do is I check but all the way to the second knuckle. So once I feel that the soil is almost dry, then I water. And the method that I use to make sure that the soil is moist but not wet is actually bottom watering. The bottom watering method, I love it because it actually gets the water into the roots from below. And then you can make sure that the plant is getting the water that she needs but you're not overwatering it. Again, just to keep the soil moist but not wet, make sure that the pot drains well so the water can go out. For this plant, it is actually recommended that you use distilled, filtered or rainwater because this plant can actually be very sensitive to chemicals in the water. The growing seasons for this plant are actually spring, summer and fall. You don't want to fertilize her so much because actually it's damaging for her. So what it is recommended is that you fertilize it once in spring, once in summer and once in fall. An extra tip to keep her really healthy and happy is to wipe her leaves with a damp cloth. So I actually use water sometimes, but sometimes I tend to use lemon juice, which is also very good to take all the minerals of the water away, just in case you have some salt in it or something. And also you can use an organic soap. Sometimes I like to use the organic soap because it's not damaging to the plant and actually it helps me keep pests away from her. So it's really good too. So how do you take care of your calathea? Please let me know in the comments so we can all learn together. If you like this video and you would like to join the community, consider subscribing so we can see each other every week and talk about plants. And as always, I will see you next week. Okay, ciao!